guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We're starting this vlog on three and a half hours of sleep, a disaster room, and sadness in my heart because I'm leaving Europe. This is the last vlog of my spring Europe trip. If you wanna follow along on the rest of them, go look back, go look at my um, itinerary and prices vlog to see like absolutely everything I did and what I spent. Lots of things to catch up on. But today is Tuesday? so hard to remember what day it is with the time difference in like america and all that anyways i have about an hour and 15 minutes until i need to be heading to the airport i have the absolute worst travel day ever tomorrow maybe not the worst but pretty bad i'll tell you all about it let's go ahead and do a little bit of packing though while i'm talking because i don't have a lot of time to get my life together okay so Today, I'm flying to London because that is where my flight back to America is tomorrow. So I'm flying in around lunchtime today. I have the afternoon to go back out and explore and I do have a few things I wanna do. So obviously take the vlog along for that. And then tomorrow I have, I have a eight hour and 40 minute flight from London to Detroit. For reference, when I flew here, I flew into Atlanta and then, or like Knoxville to Atlanta and then Atlanta to London. But on the way back, for some reason, I'm flying nine hours, almost nine hours, to Detroit, which is longer than London to Atlanta is. And then I have a two and a half hour layover in Detroit. And then I have a two hour flight from Detroit to Atlanta. And then I have, I think only like an hour layover there. And then I have my flight from Atlanta to Knoxville. And then I'm gonna get back at midnight, American time, like Eastern. And then the next morning I have class at 10 a.m. in Tuscaloosa. So I need to wake up super early to drive back in time for class. And it's gonna be a mess. Honestly, it's okay if I'm a little late to class. I think my teacher will be fine with that. But as a whole, I'm not looking forward to my travel day, especially cause for my eight hour, 40 minute flight, I'm in the middle seat. Not even like the middle seat on the end, like by the window. I'm in the middle of the middle. So I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to sleep or get anything done on my laptop because I'm gonna be like, and I can't even look out a window. Plus I still have to push past people if I wanna use the bathroom. So, however, I am hoping that this means no one has to push past me to use the bathroom because it's a four person middle section. So theoretically the other middle person should go out the other side. So I guess that's one pro is I don't think anyone has to push past me. Anyways, I've got to get my life together. I, the problem I'm having is usually when I pack to go back from a trip, it's disastrous. I just stuff and hope for the best. But because I have one more night in London, I still have to be able to have access to some things to keep me alive. So I'm struggling with how I, how do I stuff chaos pack and it still be okay? I'm not 100% sure. I'm really sad this trip is coming to an end, but I am really looking forward to getting back into my apartment and getting my life together. I have a lot of things that have been kind of weighing on my brain when I was here. Like, oh, I'm gonna need to do this when I get back. I need to do this when I get back. How am I gonna get this done in time? Cause I'm gone. So I am looking forward to also just being back in my own space, cleaning, cooking, and getting all the things done that have been like, <sighs> so with all of that, Come join me for today. We're gonna go to London. We're gonna have a blast in the rain that's there. And then we're gonna have a great travel day tomorrow. <laughs> but look, it's really squishy. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh, this'll be, ah, spider! Ow, my hand. Also, the clothes that I'm gonna wear tomorrow are currently not in the suitcase, but I also don't think they're gonna fit in my backpack. But Ryanair, okay, so I'm taking Ryanair to get to London, but I'm taking Delta back to the States. 
and Delta allows an extra bag, but Ryanair doesn't. So, problem. Okay, well that was way easier than expected. Hopefully this is, oh my God, that's heavy. Hopefully this is under the weight. We shall see. Hi, room. bought a snack because one thing I've learned is as soon as I land I need food or else I'm not gonna make it to my next destination I look gross my hair is insane today it can't decide it's straight on top it's curly underneath who knows either way I'm in London it's 1 30 ish 1 50 London time which is 3 50 Greece time so I'm pretty hungry, but I'm gonna go to my Airbnb first, just like last time. I'm at London Stansted this time, so it's a longer commute to the Airbnb, but it'll be faster to get to Heathrow tomorrow, which is where I fly out of. This is so complex. That's the bus I need to be on. I'm off the bus, it's raining. I have a five minute walk to my Airbnb. I have three things. I don't even know if you can hear me. I have three things I wanna see. I need to get a real meal, but then I want to see Buckingham Palace, the Royal Opera House, and Primark. <laughs> I do not have enough money to spend anything there, but I wanna walk through it. I only have a few hours, and I'm also so tired because I woke up early this morning, but that's even earlier in London time. So I have a feeling I'm not gonna stay out super late, but I wanna take the opportunity I have to see the things that I didn't see, at least. I'll definitely need to plan another trip completely back to London, like just doing London, or maybe, oh my God. <laughs> hey. So I was saying, maybe a couple of places in the UK, I definitely need to give it its own trip, but I'm gonna go see those three things. I bought a loaf of bread at the market. I'll show you later. I'm so sorry it's so hard to vlog when it's raining because it's raining, um, but I did make it to the palace. I took like one video for Snapchat, but I forgot to take anything for the vlog. Um, I am trying to get to Royal Opera House before it gets too dark. Then I'm just gonna go to Primark and dinner and head back. It gets, it's tough out here. These bags just do not hold up in the rain. restaurant that's so me wait should I go I'm not very hungry okay I turned back I'm going I can't say no to that that was actually so good 12 out of 10 recommend off to Primark our last stop of the night walking in the rain today I feel like I might be catching a cold or something so this is the last one I have so perfect and number two you might hear them again it kind of calmed down but there have been these guys fighting in the street for actually quite a while like maybe 15 minutes they've been yelling and screaming and saying ow and all kinds of stuff Number three, um, on the bus earlier, this guy dropped his huge, like, box speaker on my ankle, and I'm not gonna post my feet on the internet, but it looks like I have a 
second angle right now without much swelling. It also feels so weird because this is the place I stayed at the very, very beginning of my trip before I did anything. And now I'm back and I've done everything and I'm leaving. And so it's kind of emotional, kind of sad. Because the last time I was sitting in this chair, I was getting ready for all the adventures. morning of my trip um i promised i would show you guys the bread and i didn't but i'm about to eat that so let's have a look because i actually haven't even tried it yet this looks incredible i'm so excited this is my breakfast <laughs> I literally checked my bag at the minute. We are officially one hour until my plane departs. They are already boarding. <laughs> I'm stressed. I've never cut it this close before. That was literally the closest call I've ever had. Flight 17 service to Detroit, Michigan. security again and I kind of look like Lord Farquaad with whatever my hair is doing right now because it's only got the short layers coming forward. I look terrifying. I still have two more flights. I have a two hour layover here but it's almost already been one of those hours. I think I have like an hour and a half left. Anyways, I want to find dinner. I'm so tired because for my body right now it's midnight but I still have seven hours till I get home. So so exciting. I also am in Detroit, Michigan. I don't know anything about Michigan. I don't know where I am, but God, I can't get over how terrifying I look. Oh, let's go find dinner. vlogging at the airport but I landed we I mean we took off it was so delayed we took off when we were supposed to land for my final flight luckily it was a quick flight so I got um landed about 12 20 12 30 got home a little after 1 a.m took a shower because yuck and then got in bed by 2 a.m got about four hours of sleep and here we are, off to Tuscaloosa. Um, my, I didn't leave quite as early as I wanted to because I didn't wake up to my alarms. I woke up to my mom going, Sarah, are you up? I thought you were leaving right now. So it wasn't, in fact, I was still asleep. So I'm having a popsicle. This is one of those times that I wish I drank coffee because I feel like I would feel a whole lot better if I could have a little, a little coffee, a little, wake me up type of moment but whatever it's fine a popsicle will do my current ETA is not on time for class but we're gonna see if we can safely shave off a few minutes and if not I'm still gonna get there it's just gonna be a few minutes late and it's gonna be fine my travel day yesterday was so wild um, I think I said this already but I barely made it in London 
at the very first one. <laughs> the guy at the check-in desk, when I checked my bag, like literally right on the minute, was like, running a bit late in it. And I was like, mm -hmm. I sure am, so I didn't say it like that. Anyways, now I'm just rambling, but this is soon to be the end of the vlog. I'll take you along for a little bit of my arrival unpacking today stuff, but then that'll be it. This trip is over. <laughs> it's so sad. Hard when you anticipate a trip for so long and then it, it's just done. That I look terrifying in this lighting, so I'm gonna head off, but wish me luck on this drive. I have high hopes and I'm gonna stay awake. Good evening. Um, <laughs> so I did make it to class, I was a little bit late and I'm gonna keep this quick because look how scary I look. Anyways, we're mid unpacking. It has to get worse before it gets better. But I'm so tired. You can hear my washer, sorry about that. I'm literally, I mean, I have to remember, I only got four hours of sleep last night. And the night before that, I was in London time. And then I was in Greece before that. I've been in so many different time zones. And I guess I had a really long travel day yesterday. So I should have theoretically slept extra and I slept less. So that's probably why I'm so, so tired. I have to teach in the morning. I have teaching a bar class, 8.30 a.m. I teach another one at 4.30 p.m. I have a headshot session in the afternoon and I have to do work in between. I honestly need to do some schoolwork and some work work and clean my house. I think, luckily I don't think Saturday I have any plans. All of that, the unpacking is not going to be in this vlog. So, in fact, I don't think I'll vlog it at all because it's not very exciting. Um, by the time you're seeing this vlog, it's way after my trip and I'm probably already on my next one. I have a couple of travels coming up and that'll probably be the majority of my vlogs for the next little while. Maybe I'll throw another one just here in Tuscaloosa in there, but honestly I don't know because I have so many things coming up that are more exciting than just a chill weekend here that I probably won't bother to vlog that. These next two months are going to be, or I guess month and a half, gonna be absolutely insane I mean traveling <laughs> traveling is so fun I'm so thankful for it but it really but it really sets me behind on everything else and then getting back is so hard to get my life back together but it's gonna be fine and everything life goes on so here we are thank you so much for following along on this travel journey if you watched all of them anybody <laughs> and i'm not famous i'm just doing this vlogging thing for fun so if you actually watched even this full vlog or really any of the travel vlogs i hope you enjoyed <laughs> and with that i'm yeah it's only 9 15 but i'm gonna get in the shower and go to bed because i'm so sleepy well i will see you in the next one bye